And fall in my fellow scout troopers and welcome back to an Apollyon Total War 3 4v4 battle replay today at Ireland 1-A. Total replay comes from either Johnny or Clarky Boy, both are on the same team actually. Johnny LeBuffin, Angry Peasant, Clarky Boy and Jakku. Their opponents today are Guy, Fox, Sith and Fork number 2. The points today on the map so far are 2 twos and 2 fours, so a grand total here of... Oh, I can't even count. 12 points and possibly four one pointers if we're counting those houses there that don't have any points attached to their logo. Now we'll go through the factions first. We have France Russia Center, France Espana, France Rhine, and in the distance here we have France Egypt. Okie dokie. We have a Prussian army there. We have an Espana army. We have another Espana army. And is that that's an English army, but is it just England or is it England Portugal? It is England Portugal. Good to see England Portugal here today. Definitely is a great uh, anti cav faction to say the least. So that's fun. Now, if you guys want to see your own total replay featured here on this channel, just check in the video description below as well as all my videos, you'll find them there. There are four links you can send me through a re or four methods of sending me through a total replay. There are, of course, my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You may post your replay to me directly on Discord as well. You can join my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance, and post your total replay there from mods as well. Or you can simply tag me in the replay you post on most Discord servers as well. Either one works with me. I'm happy to receive it by any method you so choose. And with that, we might actually do a small cut here as the teams here are trying to maneuver themselves into position and obviously try to out outmaneuver uh, out their opponent here. Set their firing line first and just start smacking their bullets into the enemy. Anyway, let's um before we actually do a cut, we'll just do a quick survey here of the map. Um, it's incredibly hilly, that's really bad for artillery. Pretty open though, so good for cavalry warfare. We got a pretty much a shallow lake or river. But I truly peace hits this little blue spot or blue line there, you'll see water fly up from beneath it, so think of like an underground river system maybe. But um, yeah, good for cavalry warfare. Not too many obstructions there from houses, buildings, terrain like rocks, for example, boulders, whatnot. Uh, no real forest there to slow down cab charges. Pretty open this map. Although over here though, yeah, this would be bad to have cavalry engagements over here. This is a spot where you'll have uh, a lot of interference there, a lot of cavalry charges, and uh, cavalry can get caught there on the rocks. And then if your unit's tired and a fresh unit comes after you, you're not getting away, that's for sure. So. You want to stay away from rock patches like that. That is pretty much like a densely packed forest or slow down your cab unit very easily. So watch out for that. It appears to be little little bits pieces here and there, but for the most part it is pretty open. I don't see it affecting both sides much at all. It looks like Spain is thinking about charging into France. We got here. Is that skirmishes? We got tiny little. Uh, we got some sapers here from Egypt. Two units here of sapers. Fairly decent unit. I think it has uh, a few abilities. I don't remember off the top of my head, but um, a lot of people actually respect the sapers. We'll see how well they go. So it's an England Espana army, not completely Espana. Eighteen guys charging to a unit more than twice their size and just smack them down. Camels here being charged by Prussia. And the camels here have been sent packing, no pun intended. Prussia swamped one of the superior units, the other one hid behind a building for cover. These guys here form square, but it's not enough. They've been broken. So Egypt lost both their superior units. So in terms of uh, kills so far, blue team's ahead. They're trying to find out where the, where the blue team is. You've got the red team units just scouting up ahead, trying to figure out where the hell they are. Mind you, they're only covering maybe half the map. 
Maybe just trying to group up with their allies before pushing forward further north. All right, we'll see you all. We'll see you all soon, guys. All right, England is actually coming in for a charge. He's chasing off the French. He gave up on the charge. It's a fairly large unit there on England's part. Would have cost him a bit of money bringing that one. England ain't cheap. France here has cav ranging from elite to the lightest of tiers, so they got pretty. Most of the French factions have a pretty wide range of cavalry selection. That's why they can bring so much. And they do have more affordable options. That's a lot of cav that they're just congregating in one area. It's still at the um, the blue team doesn't have any artillery nearby. Just sort of far into this highly dense, packed up area of cav. Surely that would just help them have their own cavalry forces later on. Looks like Prussia has charged you in. We've got some French assars moving up. Look at the mother of all squares forming over there. We've got some uh, artillery on top of the hill there. Overlooking the French forces nicely. Good shot there. Took out a large chunk there of those soldiers. Killed 11 of them. You got one guy dangling from his horse being dragged through the field. I don't know what, what the French are doing. So they're getting ready to fire into um, Spain. Those grenadiers better do something. Oh no, those grenadiers are already in the building, are they? Are they or not? Yeah, okay, looks like they're trying to fend off the Espana player. Okay, France is charging in. Will this cause the giant catalyst? Where all the teams send all their cav into this one area or not? France destroyed one unit. Spain's committing one unit, or one of the larger units. Okay, that's two. The Espanyol cat's being shot in the flank, and it actually broke him. Bane boys being chased off. France is pursuing them. Oh, ho, ho. We've got a large number of troops coming this way. Very nice. Few impact zones there from the artillery. Again, we're seeing an unusual lull here. The battle began and, and then broke apart almost as quickly. You've got a nice French unit positioned up here. There's, a, the, uh, there's Barons from Egypt. A fairly large unit, so I wouldn't expect the best accuracy from a unit like this, but it can form square. It's a fairly large unit as well, so. If they have high accuracy, then this will cost a bit of money. But given they haven't killed anyone, I wouldn't say accuracy is on their side. How many sappers does Egypt even have? I mean, they keep sort of just sending them up. They lost three there. French forces densely packed. Okay, there's the artillery. That artillery has a nice spot there. Where we've got a large number of French forces all grouped up here. If they're not shooting at this, then they deserve to lose. They're not shooting at this. We're going for the unit that's closer.
You want to shoot at a more densely packed force. Just one nice shot in there. You could get maybe even 50 or more kills. We've got some trillers, some skirmishes here. And they're sort of um, going to jab with the enemy. You know, like a boxing turn. You know, a quick jab, pull back. Quick jab again. Might move these skirmishes to the flanks. Put, put, just put a little bit of extra pressure there while the main line engages. Those infantry are close enough to open fire now. If the French have overwhelming cav forces compared to their own, then the best defense that the blue team can make is to spread their line out as wide as possible to prevent cav from circling around and attacking them from the rear. So they want to have squareables stationed pretty consistently through regular intervals uh, throughout the line. But if they don't want to do that, which it looks like they're not going to do that, they, um... Well, they, need to keep, they have to keep some reserves behind the line faced outwards so they can shoot the enemy cab as it, come, as it tries to come closer to the rear of their lines. See, England, they're sort of hanging in the French. The French are allowing themselves to get boxed into a tight area. So this is going to make them, things harder for themselves to return fire at their enemy. They've got to spread themselves out. We've got some odd movements here from this player. French Egypt seems to be a little bit disorganized, a little bit slow. These guys here are running towards the enemy. They've got their own troops shooting them. Hold your fire! Come on, you're killing your own troops. They're going to break. They're literally between a rock and a hard place. Those grenadiers will help keep the enemy back on the right to a degree. We've got Prussia coming in in force. Now France has units in the area but he's not forming up to deter this advance. He's got to straighten up these lines here. He's got to face Prussia. He's got the troops to it can go all the way back to the river down here. Now the idea of him falling back like this is he wants to maybe he's trying to seek more cover from the artillery on the hill here. He feels like maybe he can't sustain his presence there under that kind of fire. There is that possibility. But given that France is not giving up this area, this corner here. You have to wonder why the rest of the army is falling back as far as it is. Nice shots there. You got, ten, you got an 8 pounder here. A 4 cannon battery. Shooting in a densely populated area of Spanish soldiers. Oh, they're going in for a charge. Hold on, boys. They're coming. Total chaos here in the battlefield, but this is the focal point of the battle. The Spanish forces have some protection there from the French. From the French, by the, uh, for some protection provided by the French soldiers against the French artillery. Look at all these forces. The French square is still holding, despite the immense pressure here from Spain.
We've got Cav coming in. Swarm the infantry unit there. More Cav coming in now as well. France is committing a lot of their cap here to this fight. Up against Spanish Grenadiers. I'm looking too good here. Prussia here is a little bit far back actually. Our men are running for It looks like this Spanish player mostly went it alone. He's still there. But he's trying to fall back. And France is not going to let him get away. We've got a Spanish general here. Oh, the French cab was right there. He could have tried to charge him. Take him out. There's a cab moving up. They're trying to kill all the infantry, making sure they don't come back. I think they've got the French cab coming after the general. The general is trying to run. I'm not going to go after the general, they're going to focus on the infantry. And they've all bought it there. Okay, got a French general on the Sith there, lost his general. Sniped out by possibly Johnny. That's uh, that's Johnny's move there. I wonder how he keeps doing it. It's like no one learns their lessons, myself included. Don't worry. I'm bashing myself a bit there. I've made that mistake a few times, and Johnny loves reminding me of it. Or well, like threatening me with it, I should say. Every time we play, like I'm coming for you, General. You're not gonna kill you. Anyway, back to this fight. It's like who can build their line first? It's looking all right here for England. Got large amounts of cab here to try and keep the French at bay. Good quality cab too. France is going to, have to bring up some reserves here to strengthen the length of their line. Strengthen and lengthen their line. The center is going to stay here to hold it against the next wave of Spanish forces. Looking to be moved up. We've got three units here trying to shoot at some disorganized Spanish forces trying to line themselves up. But this buys a lot of time here for these three units here to maximize their kills and damage on their opponent. Our men are running for Is that it? Francia has fallen back. I think they gave up the building. It was pretty exposed to the enemy. Uh, 
Uh, Francis deterring Prussian cavalry there. The Francis and Dragoons they could be charging to the Prussian forces as well, but they're not doing that yet. Getting the Spaniard moving up. We got no, that's English Cav. French Cav charging into the English line. The English line here just became, in, just erupted into a shramble of chaos. What happened? One minute the line looked nice and packed there, and then, oh sorry, not nice and packed. Nice, looked, um, looked nicely formed. And it was structured, they had their troops lined up, they were shooting at the French. They seemed to be doing okay there in the gunfight. And then this happened. It's like the player here might have dropped or crashed and the AI took over. The AI would definitely do something like this. I don't think the player would have done this. I think maybe he just sort of crashed and his forces just committed to the battle. We see that's a common tactic to build the AI, so I'm going to say that's what happened here. Because the moves they have made by England just doesn't make any sense. They were faring well there against the French army. Nothing happened in the center anymore. This is the earlier chaos concluded. This building has fallen to the enemy. France here, straighten up your line, mate, and then move those units on the right to flank around the Prussian line. You've got the space, it's got to lengthen your line a little bit. I'm seeing hardly any Prussian soldiers fall, despite all the guns of that range firing at them. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Okay, Guy lost his general. Yes, I think Guy might have crashed. We've got France forces moving up very erratically, like not as one unit. One of these units could be attacked and surrounded and easily cut down, so Spain should actually look at those opportunities, look at exploiting that. A couple of units are coming out at them very isolated. Our men are running for. France's left flank is collapsing. The French unit here has charged in and taken out three Prussian units. Let's try to get some extra kills there. What can Prussia do here? Let's have a look. What are we? What are his options? This building has fallen to the He's enemy. highly outnumbered there on his left. He's got to pull back. He's got to regroup. He's got to be able to defend his left flank, hold his center. It, 
Um, to ensure the success of his campaign, he probably has to fall back to his ally, the English-Spanish player on the hilltop there. Remember, England does have um, some artillery on there on the hilltop. Firing there below into the French forces, highly exposed there to their artillery. So they're going after him. No direct hit there, luckily for them. And the general is relatively protected there behind the big boulders, but he probably shouldn't walk back any further. The more he walks back, the more exposed he will be to that artillery. So it's kind of a double-edged sword, you know, stay closer to danger and be safe, or move back to move back to supposed safety, but put yourself at more risk at the same time. Kind of a contradiction, isn't it? But um, it is what it is. This building has fallen to the enemy. Spang wants that building for some reason. There's not really that much use to them. Largely because that big wall there prevents them from really firing to the French forces behind it. France is succeeding here and wearing down Prussia. Prussia has to fall back. He's, he's got to know that his army's days are numbered now. He needs to get artillery firing on the on that French line from his allies if he doesn't have any himself. There's a glimmer of hope there for Prussia towards the left of the French line. So a fluctuation in morale there. But his his own morale the troops his, the morale of his own troops is dropping rapidly across his entire line. He has to retreat and hope the French troops follow him. At the same time, that artillery just has to open up on the line there to try and give Prussia a slight edge back in this fight, or a slight opening to get back into this fight. The artillery could tip the scales back in his favour, but he needs the protection of the English Espana, Espana artillery. But he's not moving, he's not falling back. And that's playing right into the hands here of the French. Men are running for. France just has to do, all France has to do is wait. They're winning the gunfight. Prussia will eventually collapse under their weight. But then, surprisingly, France has just pulled back four units there. His allies are moving in towards the center there, so the battle for the center is about to resume. Why those guys pulled back is beyond, is beyond my guess. They were winning that fight there. The center that don't like, doesn't like the artillery. Our men are running. They're firing canister shot into them. They broke them. Espanya's falling back too much. It's created an opening there for France to outflank England and Espanya. And he's taken it. He's taken the opportunity. Good for him. Francine has to move forward though, they've got to engage that line, they've got to keep them occupied for, this, for these guys to outflank them. Then falling back like that just gives them a breather to look around and see the dangers that could be coming their way. These four units here should fall back now.
Well, we've got more and more troops coming in. Things seem to be going France's way there. And then he started falling back parts of the line and then everything just seemed to go Prussia's way after that. It's like France just let them come in through the door. It was a strange tactical decision they made by those French players down there. Everything seemed to be going their way. There was no reason for them to fall back the way they did at the time. That I could see. There was nothing going on with their morale. The morale was standing strong. It was a Prussian line that was faltering. But they fell back. And that, that pressure back in the door. And Prussia is now picking apart the French line. Spain here, coming from a side charge. Those are some Spanish Grenadiers right there. The entire line is in jeopardy. Folding them up, we've got Cav coming in, trying to fight them off. They broke one. Okay, Napoleon Dragoons. Calf still fighting. Okay, Cav is still fighting. Down to half strength, going after the general here. Spain got too cocky. He saved his general just. And, you know, well done to France. He might lose his battle, but he definitely fought off Spain well. And extracted a heavy toll there on Spain's forces. He lost a large chunk of his army, but he's still alive. It's amazing how Prussia is still in this. Now it's Prussia winning the gunfight. We've got reinforcements coming in. We're down 30 minutes. Got 30 minutes to see a winner emerge. Most units are falling back. We got one moving up. Okay, they broke him. They're going to break for sure. Yep, there they go. The 
What can these guys do, I wonder? Oh, they're going to continue their bayonet charge. Fools to their grenadiers. And they're Russian. Best of both worlds. Taking down three units so far. That's four. Five, six. Total. There's one unit here. Destroyed pretty much the entire Prussian left or part of the line. Fuzzly Grenadiers. A unit worth bringing if you have the Russian center. So artillery is simply firing on the Spanish line. They're ignoring the enemy artillery. Okay, these 12 pounders, they're firing into them. I think they're going after the general. They broke the general unit there. That's one way to get rid of a general. These guys here fire canister shot. France is on the move, Prussia is on the run. Did they break? No, they're retreating. Why? They retreated and charged into... No, that doesn't make sense. And then they broke. Well, that was, that was strange to watch, but that's what happened. Spain here trying to overwhelm the little pocket of French forces here. Nice artillery hit. We got a six pounder here. Great cancer shot, but not enough. Oh, no, 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 it was enough. Just. France fights off Spain. Now it's just a turkey shoot.
This is a long load time, I'll tell you what. Nice shot there. And it wasn't enough to break them after all. Alright, these forces here need to overwhelm the Spanish player. Got France, they got the French Russians here trying to win their battle. A little bit uncertain on the outcome there. Spanish artillery would have a nice firing line on them. Oh, 121 troops broke on them. They've got to face the Prussians. These five units here could assault and take that hilltop. They'll make the lives of those French soldiers down there a lot nicer. French forces just sort of surrounding the enemy before they move on them. Not just marching on their position. They're taking their time with their approach. Also for the Fusiliers charging, but the Prussians here will be able to throw them Our off. Running, yeah, there they go. The two Prussian units here on the flank. What's he doing? He's just trying to get to the artillery at all costs. He doesn't care. He's not going to survive this. He knows this. He's taking that one through. He's trying to target the next one. These guys here, they're running. Our men are running so Johnny went on a suicide charge there. A suicide effort to distract the enemy long enough for his, his allies to move in from behind. And then just um, get close enough for them not to be able to use their cannons effectively on their forces. There's still a bit of hurry up and move. I mean, they've still got one cannon active. Some trailer is still alive. Could be his last unit. And there goes their artillery. They want to try and get into the general. Oh no, they're going to charge into the infantry instead. There's a lot of suicide charges, aren't they? Uh, 
Uh, he's going to be to lose, I think, maybe his last unit there. Right here could lose their general if they're not careful. We've got a Prussian unit there, almost like on a stealth mission. Come on, Ryan. Your general's in danger. Full, full credit for the Prussian for just marching unit over there and the French general not realizing it. No, no, he realizes now. That's good. Or does he? I don't know. He turned around. He's being shot at. He's formed up. Jeez, what was going on there? Ah, oh, I don't know what that was. Doing his little unit there, still kicking. They're going for a bayonet charge. Come on, you gotta run these forces. Come on, Johnny's holding them. He's got, they got a fire, they got to open fire, come on. Oh, they're letting them get away. Well, the Spain, the Spanish unit won't get away. Taking the beating, still around. Now France has enough troops to just win this. You need to have to kill. Holy smokes. This unit is still around. He didn't break. He had four units shooting him in the back at close range, and he still just stood around and took it. And then just walked away. Got some shivagers. Some calves still around. Not that much. He's getting too close there, too close for comfort. Prince General is a little ways back. So the cab here ended up being broken. We've got an infantry unit trying to do a bayonet charge here on the line. Both units are confident and exhausted. They're not broken, they're running away.
This is a very pro on gunfight. And it's still not done. There's still some Spanish forces to the north. It's coming down to the wire, I tell you what. After all, we've, after all we've been through, the carnage on the battlefield. It's going to come down to a handful of units. Francia might actually lose. The morale isn't holding up to the Prussians. Yeah, France forces have started breaking. France needs to reform their line for sure. It's going to fast forward a little bit now. So trying to outgun the Spanish line. Okay, they're falling back. They're trying to regroup. You've got a Spanish player trying to cut them off. France is going to lose? Holy smokes, this one I thought France had it. Spanish and Prussia here. Pulled off a phenomenal victory. Well done to him. And that's it. We have a draw, but the uh, Coalition Alliance here won the day, I reckon. Johnny there getting 907 kills. Angry Peasant, 2053. Clarky Boy, 979. And Jakul, 1198. Guy here, 610. Flux, 1177. Sith, 1818. And fork number two, 1,030. Kill counts here range from 234 to the Fuzzly Grenadiers, not a real surprise there. And range down to zero there. Cal the artillery unfortunately didn't get any kills, so I'm lucky there. But that is it. Once again guys, if you want to see your own Total War replay feature here on this very channel, just check out the four links you'll see in the video description below. And I hope to hear from you soon. This is Mika from Scouts Entertainment signing off. For that my fellow Scout Trippers, catch you all in the next Total War Battle.